rice student. I'm now officially a rice student. <laughs> oh, just kidding. Nice little vacation away from the BAP. Has better uh, quiet places than the BAP does. Yes, thank you, Sierra, for bringing me here. <laughs> Alright, man, tell the vlog. Have a good day, man. Alright, so today, we're eating breakfast right now. We got no class at 9 right. 30, right. which is lucky. And then I have two classes later after that I got weights. So, you might see a good amount of that. Facts. Alright, so today, Thing. We're gonna take you through a day in the life of uh, what it's like to be a student athlete, uh, basically here at UC Baptist. So you'll get to see so many different things. And hopefully, when you see this video, we'll have it all set up. See ya. So what's up to the vlog, man? What's up? Hey, today's the day, right? Yep, today's the day. Bro. Day in the life of a student athlete at Houston Baptist. Yep, my man T Flu got y'all today, so I hope y'all enjoyed my man. Alright. What's going on, y'all? Happy day. Happy Thursday. There we go. <laughs> Trey Flewellen. And today we're doing a day in the life here at HBU. Um, I guess Philip can tell y'all some things that we have to do today. Uh, we finna go to class and then we finna come back and go to workouts. And workouts later. Heck yeah. Alright. Okay, so you guys, right now we're walking to class, which is in the UAC. There goes to Xavier right there. And so I'll basically, after class, I'll get back on or I'll just record my uh, presentation today. What's up, everybody? This is my class. Say hey, what's up. Okay. Okay. What's up? So, what's up? I'm in the Super Bowl, man. Now, you want in the Super Bowl? Kansas City all the way. Score? What's the score going to be? 56 uh, 0. Oh, wow, so like like 56? Nah, what about you, Logan? What do you say? I'll say 35 28. Who? Nah, San Francisco? Yeah, 35 28. Yeah. All right, so. Oh, my butt's like right the there. What's up, everybody? Let's try that again. What's up, everybody? Hey, what's up? All right. Um, I'm sorry the picture is kind of blurry. <clears throat> I'm sorry your eyes look scared. I'm not really uh, good at the, you know, editing or whatever y'all call it. But uh, so I actually got to this dude through Christina. Um, she, I basically told her that I needed help finding somebody, somebody, because. Everybody that I knew was like, you know, very top notch and they would not text back or message back. So, yeah, this is uh, Nick Canizels. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Uh, he is a sports director for K, I don't know all the news stations, so just, you know, bear with me. Um, 
I asked him, how did you prepare for this job? So he basically gave me a little background story. Nick started off watching how his co-workers deliver the news. Like it says, he would practice over and over before he knew exactly what he needed to talk about. Uh, he gave me some advice. He said, you want to read, you want to sound natural when you read. Not like a robot, you know. Not like, you know. So I would probably do a few different fake sports casts a day until I became comfortable. <clears throat> this is kind of long, I'm sorry. Uh, I asked him, how did you get your job? Uh, worked as a production ass assistant, a master control operator, a tape operator, and for news and sports. In 2006, Nick applied for the weekend sports anchor position at KB TV NBC News in Beaumont, Texas. So he basically met his girlfriend, well, soon to be girlfriend at the time it was. Um, <coughs> somewhere in Waco. Well, it was basically online. And so he moved to Waco to apply for this job. So he didn't even have the job yet at KCN, KCEN in Waco, Texas. I'm sorry. Ashley. Alam or Elam helped him put a demo reel together, which he sent three times to this lady named Lenny Ambrose down there in Waco, Texas, and eventually got the job with his girlfriend who was working the morning shift at that news place. This guy has been through it basically all. He's covered the Super Bowl, NCAA tournaments, Big 12 championships, bowl games, Final Four for um, girls basketball. He's with the Baylor Bears, so. And he actually got to meet Trump. This guy got to go to the White House with Baylor. I asked him, what do you see, where do you see your industry going in the next three years? This is exactly what he said. I feel the industry will continue to thrive on air and online. Of course, social media has played a major role in the industry in the past 10 years, or in the last 10 years, and it will continue to be a driving source. Um, some other things he said was, you know, social media will take its own self and do what it needs to do. I mean, this guy, like I said, has been through it all, so the clout is already there, I guess you could say, um, you know. And that's my video. I tried to be funny, as you can see, but you know, this is him at the Super Bowl. It's kind of blurry again. Sorry for the editing. I don't know how to do all that stuff. It's all good. So now, guys, we just got done with class. Now I'm gonna go to Christian Theology. <clears throat> this is Hannah. Do you have any other classes today? Uh, yeah, not till 3:30 though. Uh, that's Philip. Yeah, it's a day in the life today. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're going to Christian Theology, so it should be nothing, nothing too much. It's going good. Man, y'all say what's up to Blaze, man. Say what's up to the vlog. Christian what's up? theology time. Sorry y'all can't see me right now. I'm washing my hands. This is for uh, Samuel C. Oh, Samuel's vlog? Yeah, I watched the last episode. You did? Yeah. Yeah, guys. Yeah, Blaze is 6'5", so don't, you know. He didn't charge it? No, he charged it. This is the class. Revelation, that is how God reveals himself. 
We talked about general revelation, which isn't much help. It mostly um, allows us to know that there's some kind of power beyond us, but it doesn't give us clear information at all about God or anything specific. It doesn't tell us a story. It doesn't even tell us if there's one God. We need scripture. We need special revelation for that. And so... All right, so we here, man. Me and Kobe just got some uh, lunch. Kobe, what'd you eat? Man, I had a peanut butter jelly sandwich. Put butter on it for the pump. You want to know how it is? <laughs> yeah, man. You can see. Spaghetti, yeah. meatballs, extra carbs. Oh, yeah. Are you doing that thing tonight where you dive into the pool? Uh, for, a, that, yeah. for a shirt? I'll be down. Yeah, so basically... I'm finna get some pre-workout from my boy. And then I got workouts at 2.30. He has workouts at 4. And so, yeah, that's what finna we do. Finna eat some weights. Yeah, finna eat some weights. Little snack time. I don't know if you can see him, but yes, you definitely see that. <laughs> All right, I'll see y'all later. So now, uh, I just got the pre-workout. And... Hopefully there's nothing on my face, but now I'm going to the field house. I'm gonna get a little treatment. And then I gotta work out. So you guys will get to see the, I guess the weight room and some other stuff. And so yeah, see ya. All right, man. So we in here with coach Nick. He about to get me right. About to get my tendonitis right. You know, I'm tired of, you know, I'm kind of long. I'm long for a safety, right? Yeah. So, so, <laughs> oh, you should be. <laughs> so I have a little knee problem. So we finna get right. Get your weenie out, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is our training room. It's kind of small right now. It's going to grow one day. You already know. Now I have to take it to the locker room. This is where we be at. This is my locker. Yeah, man. So basically, I'm about to do some rehab or therapy, or I guess you could call it. And so, I'll see you guys after. Say what? Hey, y'all hopping in the pool? Greatness. Great. Y'all finna get lady? <laughs> my fault. Coach T, hey man, just got my lift in. Hey man, we just got my lift in. Now we finna watch them run, huh? Let's go, Pat. It's all the way through, all the way through. Mirror, mirror. All the way through. Let's go, Kobe. Let's go, Kobe. <laughs> all the way through, all the way through. All the way through, Gino. Hey, man, how y'all feeling, man? Yeah, yeah. How y'all feeling? Man. Yeah, man. There go the man right there. How you feeling, bro? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Let's go. How y'all feeling? Tired as hell. Good. Good. Chill, good. Man. Chill, yeah. Man. Good, bro. Yeah. Still yeah. Yeah. my third day. Oh. <laughs> Oh, there goes the trustees right there. Yes, sir. Hey, so we just got a chance to watch them lift. Well, to watch them run. Now they're finna go lift. Yeah. Finna go do it, man. What you gonna get on a uh, squat? Uh, what you gonna get on squat? At least 500. 500 on That's squat? That's a warm-up, though. 500 on squat? <sighs> she gotta get great out here, you hear me? Yeah. Bull game. Yeah. yeah. All that. Yeah.
give our fellas 